Hey, look, there we are. Good morning, everybody. It's a uh, it's a marvelous Monday morning, and we're going to kick it off with a new installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of Seven Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to a uh, brand new week and a new installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for the next few minutes. We'll see how long it lasts today. Hope you're having a magnificent day. If you would do me a favor, do what Catherine has done when you get here, live or on the replay, doesn't matter to me. Leave a comment there. Still like to know that you're here, even if you don't catch the show live. You know, I run into people all the time and say, yeah, I, I, I can't watch it live, but I watch it every day. Awesome. I'm talking to you. Give me a comment there. Let me know that you're here or a thumbs up or a like or whatever is appropriate in your venue because this thing is literally going out to, I think it's 11 different places uh, all at once. So thank you so much for being here. So today, how do I want to title this? I think today I want to talk about, uh, we'll just call it purpose and direction. I'm going to see if this magnificent computer will let me do something kind of cool here. No, nope, not going to let me do that. So I'm going to base this off of a quote. It comes up out of my, you know, quote of the day uh, database. This one's from uh, JFK, John F. Kennedy. Effort and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. I think I titled the show in the, in the, the title there, I'm working hard. Why isn't this working? Or why aren't, why am I not getting the results that I'm looking for? And so what I want to encourage you with today, especially as we are closing in on the end of the year, this is the time of year where, um, we tend to be very retrospective about how things went this year and maybe be a little, um, anticipatory of the coming year and start thinking about things that we can do or maybe do differently to create um, different results or new results for 2019. Just You don't have to say this is a bad year in order to plan for next year. It's like this was a good year and next year's a better year. So um, that's what we're planning for. All right. But you have to, have to, have to, have to have purpose and direction. Without those things, or I, I kind of combine purpose and direction and call that my vision, but w- without a, a clear destination, you're just working for the sake of working. I don't want you to do that. I mean, wh- whether you're a, an, a, an employee, you're self-employed, business owner with 100 employees, 1,000 employees, you need to be clear about the purpose and direction, especially if you have a team, because you have to be able to communicate that to the team. Otherwise... Uh, you guys have heard me tell this story before, but I, I, I had a coaching client who had 35, 40 employees, and, and they still did all the work in the business. Like, what did you hire all these employees for? They depended on this business leader to tell them every day what they needed to work on. Like, well, that's why you can't get a break, why you can't take a vacation, why you can't take the weekend off without thinking about this stuff. Yeah, and Catherine's got a great point, too. If you don't know where you're going, you might be there already. But if you don't know where you're going, you don't know. You won't realize when you get there. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here. And yes, good morning to all of America and the rest of the world. So, purpose and direction. Now, you don't have to create. What I don't want you to do is is think that this is some uh, encouragement to go create a, a nice mission Mission, vision, and values poster that you can put on the wall. Those are useless, right? This is a sentence, maybe even less than a sentence, just a great phrase, right? Do I want to share mine? 
I don't know. You guys tell me if, if you would like to hear mine. I'll, um, I can tell you, but only if you ask. Okay. Nobody wants to hear it. So, <clears throat> so this, this, um, uh, purpose and direction. <clears throat> so look, an- another great quote I came up with, or uh, I saw the other day, the difference between speed and velocity is direction. The hamster in the wheel has a lot of speed, but he's not going anywhere. Right? He only has velocity when he starts moving in a direction. So get really clear about your purpose. Get really clear about the direction you want to go. Maybe define the mile markers along the way. So as Catherine points out, you can rec- recognize when you reach them, and then don't forget to celebrate when you reach them. That's important for that dopamine hit. Right? And then move on from there. So here's what I want you to do today. This is the, uh, oh yeah, that's a good one. So Catherine says, my whiteboard of world domination. I like that. I love that name, by the way. There's mine right back there. Uh, includes an anchor word and a motto or saying for the year. Yep, definitely. My friend Eric uh, Mulford, he does his three words of the year. Uh, wh- whatever you do, it's something to help you focus. Remember, where focus goes, energy flows. The more you can focus on an outcome, the more likely you are to create it. So here's what here's your uh, takeaway. Here's your homework. I want you to work on today. Drum roll, please. You like that? What is your uh, purpose and direction? Your statement of purpose and direction for 2019. Limited to one sentence. That's it. One sentence can't be any longer than that. And in fact, if you can get it down less than that even better. Maybe I'll get around to sharing mine with you later this week. All right. That's it for today. Uh, Monday, anything special happening today? Don't think anything special is happening today. So be sure and tune in tomorrow. Same time. I always want to say same bat time, but that's probably a bad thing to say. Same time, same channel for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a great Monday and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oops. Wait. Wait for it.